Hi everyone. If you're new here, we are the Lindsays, and this summer we are taking our 33-foot RV Luna from Colorado to Florida and then back. Come along on this epic summer trip with us as we explore some of the great parts of the U.S. I'm not sure those are going to work. Hey, thumbs up. Mine are already complete. Look at that style. Let's get packed up and get ready for this three month long trip. It's not as easy when the bump belt's not out. <laughs> okay, I did it. I did it. I think I have one more thing of poppies to put in there. Good, look at all our room. Nice. So, we don't have enough going on with getting ready for the RV trip and renting our house and everything else that, you know, we have to finish painting a wall. We needed some fixes on it so we hadn't painted it previously. So now we are painting it quickly. Quickly, like two days before we leave. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I love, I love textured walls. They're so much fun to paint. Yeah. What are you doing? We did it. Yes. It's horrible lighting, but we did it. Looks good though. Yeah, it's not bad. Check right. that off the list. Only two more days to go. Two and a half. Here we go. It is travel day. We finally packed up the house, cleaned everything like to a T. It is like 7 a.m. I am not a morning person. I've been up for a few hours. Poppy is luckily still asleep, so we've been able to actually get some stuff done. And Jack is outside hooking up the RV right before he has to do some calls before we can leave. And I think it's just like the last minute things now that we gotta get out and we gotta vacuum the floors, make our way out of the house with vacuuming. And, and then I, think we're kind of done. I don't know how we managed to do it. Wasn't too confident that we would be done and actually leaving on time, but I think instead of leaving on time, I think we may even be leaving a little earlier than expected. So that's a double thumbs up. And yeah, we are headed to Joaquini, Kansas today. Hopefully we have an easy ride, not too much wind or weather. And yeah, let's get this trip going. Let's go.
We are in the car. We made it. We left before 10 o'clock and our goal was like 10 or 11. So I thought for sure we would be closer to the 11 o'clock. A little bit before 10, didn't think we'd get out until 11. And we are in the car, heading out. You ready? Let's go. Yee! Hopefully everything runs smoothly. Bob's, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Mezzy, where are you? Oh, you're all the way down there. You ready, Mez? You ready, Mez? Yeah? Let's go. Okay, we got about 300 miles today to do. And day one, hopefully we had fantastic weather. It is blue skies, not windy today. Hopefully it stays like this for the whole trip. You just jinxed us. Hopefully not. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Jack thinks they jinxed us. This is definitely the longest we have gone with this RV. Our only other longish trip was to South Dakota when we went to Mount Rushmore and all those stops that we did. So this is definitely our longest one and I'm excited. Yeah. Is it a little bouncy? Wave, a bouncy bounce. Yeah. 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 Are you watching a show? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You good back there? Yeah. One thumb up, two thumbs up, no thumbs up. One thumb up, two thumbs up. Nice. Made it the camp. This, it's super windy. Not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me, but it has been a fun drive in this wind. It is a little, a little crazy out today. So we're stopped getting gas, and it is like 23 mile per hour winds right now. It is so windy. Driving has not been fun at all. It's kind of blowing like crazy. Even right now, we're sitting at a gas station, and the whole like car is shaking. So hopefully this wind dies down for the rest of the trip and tonight because you're definitely gonna be able to feel it in the RV if it's rocking right now. So hopefully we get there safely. We've got like a hundred miles I think to go, maybe a little bit more, but we just made it into Kansas. So that's good. At least we made it to Kansas, but we got a little ways to go still. Windy? It's windy. I know, but at least we made it to Kansas. Yep, into the wind. Into the windy Kansas. We, we made, made it. it. Wakini, Kansas. It's windy. Yes. Super windy. But we don't have to disconnect. We can just keep connected so it'll make tomorrow easier. That is true. That'll help that we don't have to disconnect the car from the the RV. Make tomorrow way faster. One less thing we have to do, but boy is it windy. But we made it. We made it! Yay! We made it to Kansas! Yeah. Good? Is it windy? Our neighbor was so sweet and cooked us dinner last night so we didn't have to have any dishes and sent us home with a bunch of food. So that is our dinner tonight, which is going to be so helpful since it is like 5.30. She only slept for like 35, 40 minutes in the car and if we can get on the road early tomorrow, that'd be awesome. So cheers and let's enjoy our dinner. Cheers. Yum. Howdy. Is the fruit good? Yeah. So this is a typical night in the RV. Emma's got her sweatshirt from my parents, which is pretty funny. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I tried to be a good wife, good girl, and then the bonfire was lit and there was beer. This is approximately 9 o'clock at night. 
we're going to bed. <laughs> Might watch a little bit of YouTube and go to sleep. Tired. It's been a long day. Especially for you. I know, it's hard being this sexy. Well, it was not that I meant for towing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, it's very hard to tow. And then being this sexy. Uh, yeah, okay. This, like, sorry, this good looking. So, we will see you tomorrow. We are heading to... Columbia, Missouri. Yes, that's where. And I started looking up stuff to do, and I have a few ideas, and I just gotta convince this one that we need to do them. Yep, she has a seven hour drive to convince me. Yep, I could do it. Yep. <laughs> so, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, day two. Excited, got up, RV's almost packed. Emma, how are you feeling today? I'm tired. I didn't sleep fantastically. And I don't know if that was because the air was going the whole night and blowing on my face or just stressed, but I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and we are going to go and we're gonna have a fun day after I put my makeup on. <laughs> All right, so we are driving six and a half hours to Columbia, Missouri based on yesterday and the fact it's already 20 mile an hour winds, it'll probably be more like Maybe. seven and a half to eight. I so, think the winds are supposed to be as bad today. Here we go. You wanna see? Yeah. Let's see. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you want makeup? Here we go. <gasps> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Good. Closing up. Time to go. You ready, Pop? Yeah. Yeah? You ready to go? You ready to go to Missouri? Yeah. <laughs> Loading up everybody, including Poppy. Getting ready to go. We're getting some gas. Jack's cleaning the windows. It is like 8.50 and we said to be on the road by nine and we're early again. Yesterday was way earlier than I thought it was. Today, I'm, I'm proud of ourselves that we got a little early. Get on the road, hopefully it's not windy. Seems a little less than yesterday, but definitely still has some good, some good gusts. We got a little Missy back there playing our iPad. Hi, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go. And the doggies down there somewhere. Oh, yeah. there. Hey, Mez. Mezzy. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. hi. Okay, let's go on the road. Let's go. Look, hills! It's no longer totally flat, yay! Maybe the wind will die down too. So we just made it to our campsite. Poppy did not sleep at all in the car. It is about 4.30 now. She's been up for like, I don't know, eight and a half hours or something like that. So I just put her down to sleep, running the air while Jack hooks up everything. Hopefully we can get her to sleep for like 30 or 45 minutes. And then if so, we can maybe go into town and go explore a little bit and go eat. I had a few things on my list stuff to do here but yeah that was a long car ride today and i don't know we're thinking about maybe changing our 
way back a little bit. This campsite is very, very full. Granted, it is Memorial Day weekend, so I'm not surprised that it's a full camp ground, but yeah, let's see if Poppy falls asleep. Otherwise, we'll catch you in a second, your time. So, didn't sleep. So we went to Panera and Sonic to go grab some dinner, and now we're gonna sit outside and enjoy. Fortunately, we did get poppy mac and cheese that it wasn't in the bag when we got here. It's so really nice outside right now. Though. It's gorgeous out. We'll enjoy what we do have and go to bed early, right? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh right. yeah, you got bread, so you're good. At this RV resort, Cottonwoods, they sell local beer. So we got two different breweries, got a lager or in a pilsner. Let's check them out. There's a charcuterie board now. Good? Yeah. Oh, you want oh, some lemonade. lemonade? It's yummy. They're peonies or peonies, depending on how you pronounce it. Emma, right? Can you sniff it one more time? Come on, go. Let's go, puppy, let's go. Go, 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 fast, fast, fast. Mama's got an alcohol pop. We just went into the store. One second, pop. And I like Missouri, because A, they sell alcohol and like a lot of it. So Jack had shown you the beer that we had gotten from local breweries. Then I find like a frozen cocktail thing, which is pretty darn awesome. And then, come on, I had to buy that mug. That's just too funny. And then we got this one too, which is pretty darn good as well. I'm a fan. <laughs> Are you sleepy? You got the sleepy giggles? Hey, Poppy, can you wave night night everybody? Good night everyone. We are going to bed in Missouri and tomorrow we are headed to Nashville, Tennessee. See you then. Good morning everyone. Let's head to Nashville for first coffee. Good, oh. yeah. Good morning. <laughs> oh, Poppy. <laughs> gonna fall over, gonna fall over. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Where Good we go? morning. Where are we going? Back. Oh, you want to go on a boat? Because we're going to a campsite in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, we're going to be right on the Wawa in Tennessee. AKA the water for everybody else. <laughs> oh, okay. Poppy's ready to go. Let's go. Get in the car. Another I think we're early day. again though. Yeah, well, we still have, we need 12 I minutes, know, but so let's okay, go. let's go. <laughs> we are in the car. We were leaving five minutes early. Not quite as good as the other days, but hey, it's still early. And for us, that's pretty darn good. And today is a long drive. Today's about an extra 30 minutes compared to yesterday. Let's see how long it actually takes us. Right now it says 310. I'm guessing we'll probably get there 4.30. Probably 4.30. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Heading down to Tennessee, my friend. We are heading to Tennessee. On the road again. Welcome to St. Louis. Whoa. Whoa. You're crossing the river? You see Wawa?
So we made it through St. Louis and I think everybody just needed a two second break. So we are stopped off at a gas station and letting this little lady and this lady run around in a little dog park that is on the side of the gas station and just have a good time, right? Yeah. Run! at directing us into a spot, so let's see how this goes. At about this point, we had a very nice neighbor come and help Jack into the spot since I was obviously doing a pretty poor job at it. Well, really, really appreciate his help. Now let's set up our campsite since we will be here for a whole week. Happy. 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 Forgot mine was like a beast. I mean, yours isn't small, but yours is easy to set up. Mine is that Dada's chair? That's Dada's. Dada's. Poppy's. 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 And then we'll get Mama's next, okay? My beast. There's Mama's beast of a chair. What do you think? I need you to check that, make sure you're not gonna kill myself. This is our $15 table we use all the time from Amazon. It is a handy one. It's like a mini picnic table, but it works as like a, almost like the table you have when you enter a house. The table that what? Like the little tables you have when you enter a house where you put your keys and your junk. Oh yeah, it kind of holds all of our extra outside stuff. What? You want to eat? Yeah. Did you put yourself at the table and climb up? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, up it. You're hungry? Yeah. Okay, let's make some food. Yeah. I'm going to fold this bread in half. Perfect. Mama. What do you say? Good. It's good? Yeah. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Got it? Good.
This one's mine. <laughs> Don't listen to your husband. <laughs> Till next time, get out and live a little, guys. Bye.